Welcome back to the morning show. We have a community spotlight segment. Joining us is Officer Beeman from the Taylorville Police Department. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so tell us all about this uh, community event that's coming up. What do people need to know? So it's called National Night Out, and typically it's the first Tuesday of the month, which would be today. But unfortunately, we had a conflict with the area that we typically have it in, and we kind of needed the space, so we had to push it to Friday, which is going to be August 9th, and we'll be having it from 5 to 8 p.m. And tell us what it's really about. I know this is about, you know, officers connecting with the community, right? Absolutely. So I like to describe it when I'm getting donations and everything from the community as a big block party. It's a way for the community to come out and interact with us and other officers from around our county and just have some fun, you know, just some family, good times and everything else that goes with that. And so what can people expect when they go there? So every year we kind of try to keep it kind of the same. So this year we'll have inflatable axe throwing, we'll have a bounce house and an inflatable obstacle course. We also kind of tie it in a little bit with our law enforcement torture for Special Olympics Illinois because that's a passion project of ours. And so with that, we have a dunk tank where we get different members from the community to get inside. And for donations, you can take a chance to dunk those people. And we also have a raffle that we do where we get donations from different businesses and they donate and then people can put in for raffle tickets as well. How fun. So you guys have done this in the past? Yes. Um, so how has it benefited the community? Um, we always have a really good turnout with our community showing up at our events. And what's great is the community knows that, yeah, we're going to be there to arrest bad guys, you know, and help them if they're locked out of their car, but also to kind of have fun and get to see us. You know, we've had people come up to us at these events and they'll tell us about, you know, concerns they might have with potentially neighbors or things that they've seen at their work. And it's just a really good, you know, casual way for people to tell us about concerns they might have. Absolutely. And, you know, just how the surrounding, uh, it, it's good to bring the bridge between the community and police. My dad's a police officer in Chicago, and he okay. always says how important it is to know that, you know, we're here, we're here for you, and to, you know, bridge that that gap and um, build those relationships. Absolutely. It's, it's really the most important thing, you know, in my opinion, is doing that because you can't help a community that doesn't trust you. And that's such a big thing is gaining that trust. And sometimes it's just as simple as going and doing an event and throwing it. Absolutely. So one last time, can you tell us when it is, what time, when people can, where it is? So it's from 5 to 8 p.m. on Friday, August 9th, and it's going to be at the Christian County Fairgrounds in Taylorville. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Awesome. You can learn more about this event, including others in our communities, at wcia.com slash community.